This was delicious, Sarah! Thanks. Groceries were a lot more expensive this time around. And the prison soap Ron sends me to pay for everything just isn't keeping up with inflation. You should diversify your stock portfolio. Never thought about crypto soap? That's why I make sure to invest carefully. I purchase assets that keep up with inflation. Like my gators. But then when I turn around and sell them, I'm forced to pay capital gains taxes. It's like Florida man's being punished for his financial acumen. It ain't right. So what? I have to pay income taxes. Why shouldn't people be taxed on capital gains? It's about time the rich pay their fair share. Sarah, when somebody invests, they're using income that's already been taxed. So they've already paid their fair share and should be able to do what they want with the money they have left. How many gators do I gotta feed to the tax man to satiate his appetite for this fair share? It's never enough. There's another problem with capital gains aside from double taxation. It doesn't account for inflation. What do you mean? When people invest in the stock market, they're giving up the ability to use their money today in exchange for the promise of more money in the future. Wealth that would just sit around in a savings account or inside all their mattresses gets to be used to grow businesses, build homes, buy cars, and improve other people's lives in a thousand different ways, all because investors hope they'll make a good ROI over time. At the very least, they hope to have the same purchasing power when they get their money back, in spite of inflation. Uh, let's say you buy a stock for $100, and over time, the value goes up to $120. That's great, right? But what if thanks to inflation, everything that used to cost $100 now costs $120? You might have more cash, but you ain't no richer! Right, the actual value of the money you got back from your investment is the same as what you put in. But at least you've saved your money, right? Not if you also had to pay capital gains taxes. 120 is actually just breaking even, but the IRS doesn't take inflation into account at all. So on paper it looks like a profit, but it isn't. And if inflation is really bad like it is now, capital gains taxes can force investors to lose money in real terms. I guess that's kind of unfair. My gator may be worth less now in the market, but she's still priceless to me. I wish I could just keep her in a savings account, but it's a bad investment. Investing is one way people can preserve their savings, but it already carries a pretty big risk. And if capital gains aren't indexed for inflation, it's less likely there's gonna be any reward, just a less of your punishment. Why should you have to pay a tax because inflation happened? And where's the incentive to risk investing? Hey! Folks, thank you so much for watching. Why don't you subscribe and hit that notification bell? Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought.